Today I'm building the Free Deck, a sort of open source stream deck where it uses screens as buttons to be able to control your PC. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, well, stick with me. I've built a few different macro keyboards over the last couple of years and this one I built on the channel about a year and a half ago. It uses a cheap matrix keypad that looks like it was rejected by an old telephone and it also has an RFID card reader inside which is why this flat section exists. I upgraded a few months later to this 20 key macro keyboard. But the issue with this design was that I can't remember what I've assigned to each key. So I've ended up trying to 3D print some keycaps for these uh, Cherry MX clone switches. But in the end, I've just reverted to shoving some stickers on them. However, I love the idea of being able to display what each key is for. And the biggest known device for that is the Altago Stream Deck. They're really neat and have loads of integrations, have a full colour screen behind the buttons, but they're also pretty pricey. And they also need software on your computer to do anything at all. These are both based around the Arduino Pro Micro, which is an 80 Mega 32U4 based development board, which has USB support built in. Using the keyboard library in the Arduino IDE, you can get your Pro Micro to send keystrokes. So you can easily send, for example, Control C to copy something. Or one of the things I find most useful is to have a single button type out a string of text that I regularly have to type. It saves me time and eliminates the chance of any typos. It was Colin Hickey who pointed me in the direction of the free deck and when I saw this image here on GitHub, well, I thought to myself, I have to have one of those. But this prototype is a little bit messy and I've been enjoying designing PCBs recently, so I thought I could make a perhaps slightly neater job of this. In the end, I actually designed two different PCBs, one that is almost exclusively surface mount and another one which is almost exclusively through hole. And these PCBs should be available on the official FreeDeck GitHub repository because I've ended up working with the original designer Killian to iron out a couple of code bugs as well as provide these PCB designs. And obviously I'll put some links in the description below. Without further delay, I think I'll build one of these and I'm gonna go for the through hole version because actually the order in which you solder the components is far more critical. The surface mount version is pretty straightforward. So for this, you will need one of these PCBs. You'll need a five volt, 16 megahertz Arduino Pro Micro and I'm using a clone here you'll need one of these really cheap SD card readers they're super cheap on AliExpress two 4051 multiplexing ICs six surface mount uh, tactile switches which is the only surface mount components on this board and of course six of these OLED screens and this is the 0.96 inch OLED I squared C screen and you must make sure left to right it's ground VCC SCL and SDA so the first job is the switches so I'm just going to wet one of these pads with a touch of solder and then we'll pick one of these up with my tweezers and just reflow that solder while pressing down on the switch to solder it in place. Then, after I've done all the other switches, I'll come back and uh, do the other side as well. So that's uh, the first of six switches. So there we have six buttons all soldered on, and that's the end of the surface mount soldering for this version. And to be honest, if you're not used to surface mount soldering, these aren't a bad component to start with. They're quite large and quite forgiving. And if they end up being a bit skew with, well, it doesn't actually matter, does it? Because, well, they're going to be covered by the screens that we're going to mount later on. 
To other side of the board now, I'm going to put the uh, 74HC4051 multiplexing IECs in. And uh, they have a key here. And uh, on the silk screen, you can see the corresponding key. So make sure you get them the right way round. Let's just get all those pins in. There we go. Not going to put them in a chip carrier. I don't think that's going to be necessary. They're very cheap. These, for me, are the clever part of this project. You see, these OLED screens all use the same I2C address, and they use the same I2C bus in this project. Now, typically, that means if you wrote something to one screen, well, it would write to all six, and that's no use at all. All of the clock pins are connected together in parallel, however the data pins use that multiplexer so that you can send the data to just one screen at a time. The design uses two 4051s and the second one is for the switches. To reduce the amount of pins on the Arduino Pro Micro but also so this project can be expanded beyond six screens and six buttons with only minor circuit and code changes. The images and button assignments of the FreeDeck are saved on a micro SD card which means you can update them without reflashing the Arduino. These, like I said, are super cheap and they include the level shifter and the 3.3 volt regulator because SD cards run at 3.3 volts and this is a 5 volt circuit. Uh, and like I said, super cheap and uh, this has all the components you need. I am just going to need to bend up the uh, six pins so that they're straight so this will actually sit that way up on my board and hopefully the edge will line up reasonably nicely. So I'm going to bend a pin at a time and just pen them so that they're just straight like that. So I think that is pretty square. I've soldered all six pins, but as you can see, they're quite tall. So they need to be trimmed back now with a decent pair of cutters. So I will just trim back one at a time there we go and yeah that's a lot better isn't it so you can see there they're not going to foul the back of the screens now so i'll do the others next i'm going to prepare for the pro micro using the pins that came with it i'm going to use the short side of those pins and they're going to go through my board here just like that i am going to put the pro micro on top of those pins to uh, just keep those pins the right distance apart from each other while I solder at least one or two of these pins um, on this side. So I'm just going to solder both sides of this and then, uh, well, I'll show you what's next. There we have my pins in. I think they're quite nice and straight. But now I'm going to move the Arduino Pro Micro to one side because I don't want to solder that in because that will prevent me from uh, soldering in the screens. And if I pop this one in here, you can see that the pins for the screens are actually underneath the Pro Micro. So I need to at least get these two screens in place before I solder the uh, Arduino Pro Micro in place. I'll also need to cut back the pins of those screens as well to make sure they don't foul the bottom of that Pro Micro. So I'll get two of these screens in and cut those uh, pins short, I think. Now, just before I mount these screens, we'll see how this actually works, because you have to be quite careful when you mount these screens. Uh, you want them to be sitting on top of the surface mount switches at this end of the screen so that when you press the screen it actuates the switch so uh, as you'll notice these uh, the screen pcbs isn't quite flat to my pcbs those switches are a little bit lower than these plastic spacers on the left so i did contemplate removing these plastic spacers to make that flatter but for this one at least I'm not going to do that because it's only a slight angle uh, and actually my biggest problem is probably making sure all the screens 
sit straight because that's quite tricky as well because if we look back on this side the OLED screen here is actually just held on with a bit of foam tape so they're not always perfectly square to the PCB so yeah um, it's going to take a little bit of jiggery pokery to get all screens looking reasonably square and making sure they're sitting right on top of the button so that that touch motion or pressing motion will work nicely. There's no point soldering it up here and having to press a long way. That will also put extra stress, I guess, on these pins and the solder joints. So yeah, lots to consider here. There are my six screens soldered in, hopefully in alignment. Incidentally, they all came in these interesting uh, plastic cases and I'm sure I can find a use for six of those in the future. Um, I haven't yet soldered in the Arduino. What I'm going to do is flash that first to make sure it takes the sketch before I solder it in because what is there 30 pins on there or something. Uh, that would be an awful desoldering job to do so I'll make sure that flashes first and then I'll put it in the free deck. Okay, so I've got the Arduino Pro Micro plugged into my laptop and I'm here at the GitHub repository for the FreeDeck I know. Um, I'm going to download this as a zip file and extract it to my desktop. Once I've extracted it to my desktop here in the uh, FreeDeck I know master, there is an app folder and the uh, code is in this file here called app. And once the Arduino IDE is open, we just need to locate this, the HID project um, library. So we can go to include library and manage libraries and wait for that to open. And then in here you can just search for HID project and uh, hopefully... There we are, that shows up and we can install it. But obviously I've already tried this and I've already got it installed. And that's all we should need. So now I'm just going to go to Tools, and uh, there's a good chance that flashing it as an Arduino Leonardo will work, because that's a 5V 80MHz 32U 4 based board. So I'm going to leave it as that. And, uh, oh look, in fact, it's showing up as a Leonardo COM14, that's mine. So I'm going to uh, compile that sketch now and upload it to the uh, Arduino. So that's it, the sketch has been uploaded to the Pro Micro, which means I'm happy it works, and I'm happy then to solder it into my free deck. Now that I'm fairly sure that everything is working, I actually need to make a config file for the free deck, and you can do this here at this address, which again, I'll put in the description below. And this is the config file that I've come up with for now at least, um, it has a number of pages, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and uh, various buttons do various different things. We can look, for example, at this first button on page 0. I've just put in some text here to make this image, and uh, all it does is a short press on that particular screen goes to page one that's all it does and uh, in page one uh, the first button is a back button we've got copy paste uh, undo redo and uh, go to a windows desktop so uh, that's fairly straightforward page two here is all about audio so we access that from page zero and the speaker icon uh, and uh, it's using some media buttons so let's have a look at one of these I have uploaded this image by uh, clicking on here and uploading from my computer um, and this does a special key, key sorry, and it's the play pause button. Uh, you'll notice that you can do a long press as well, I've not done anything with that on this button, however I have on the volume down button here, so uh, a short press, it goes volume down, a long press, oh no it doesn't, uh, special and I can do volume mute. So if you hold down the uh, volume lower button, volume down button, it then mutes the volume. So that is that. Uh, the last page here I've made for page three 
is, you know, if you were using OBS and uh, you were a streamer, which is what these things are made for, isn't it? Uh, you might have, you know, a Minecraft, a Fortnite game, uh, and different camera angles, and you might want to mute your microphone. Now, what I've done here for mute your microphone is it sends the key F13, which is not on a standard keyboard, but is a key that you can uh, assign within OBS to a function. So in OBS, I've uh, marked F13 is mute the microphone so yeah these are the sorts of things you can do with the free deck but you know my config is not going to be your config but for now this will do so i'm going to save my config and uh, that downloads as a config.bin and all i need to do now is save that to my micro sd card now I've saved that config to this 4 gig micro SD card and that is, well, not crucial, but being 4 gig means it's formatted in the FAT file system, which is what the free deck needs. If you've got a larger SD card, well, you may need to use extra tools to format it in the right manner. Uh, the config file is tiny, it's about 200 kilobytes or something, so it doesn't take up much space on this card. So find your smallest, oldest SD card uh, for this project. I'm going to uh, just plug that in there, and then power up the free deck. Oh, I have to shake that. Hmm. Now, these screens aren't strobing on uh in real life although they are on the camera but those lines they're not right are they hmm i'm gonna have to have another look at the code as you can see now i've managed to get rid of those horrible bars that were going across the images here and i've done that by adjusting this value here the uh image cache size it was 512 i've set it to 128 and that seems to sort the problem out and uh, let's just give this a go while i'm here uh, so if i press the audio button i can increase my volume decrease my volume uh, i've not got any music playing but i can skip pause excellent i think that seems to be working perfectly and the final part of this puzzle is a 3D printed case and lid. So I'll just screw this down and I'll make sure there's links to this which I have uploaded to Thingiverse. So I've slightly overexposed the image here to reduce the flicker on the screens. The screens line up reasonably well with my uh, 3D printed case here and the whole thing seems to work quite nicely i think a couple of rubber feet on the bottom and i can call this project done hopefully you've enjoyed this project if you have give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and i will see you next time thanks for watching oh one of the best things about having six screens on the device Oh, six peels. Yeah, two, three. Oh, I'm going to have to get something under that one. Four, nice. Five. Got my nail under there. Nope.